Hello, my name is Eric Loy, and I serve as project coordinator for the William Blake Archive at the University of Rochester. Today, I'd like to show you how to find and use our digital edition of David Erdman's The Complete Poetry and Prose of William Blake. In Blake's scholarship, Erdman's edition is a standard scholarly source for citing virtually any text by Blake. Spanning nearly 1,000 pages, the book is comprehensive, providing transcriptions for everything from Blake's illuminated books to unpublished manuscripts to marginalia to letters. For our work in the Blake Archive, we consult it as one of our standard sources from which to base our own transcriptions of Blake documents. For example, in the line notes for this letter to John Linnell, which I have opened in another browser tab, we've compared our transcription to what other standard editions have recorded, and you can see the citation for Erdman here. By the way, if you're interested in how we present editorial notes, we'll explain those in another video. Additionally, because the Blake Archive is an ongoing documentary project, there are works we have not published yet. Or, as in the case with the recent publication of Vala or the Four Zoas in something we call preview mode, we do not yet have transcriptions for the digital facsimiles. But you can use the Erdman to find the text for these works. So, to find the Erdman, as we call it, simply navigate to the archive homepage. You will find a link in yellow text beneath the tiled design. Depending on your monitor or browser window, you may need to scroll down. Clicking on the link will open the Erdman in a new window. Depending on your internet connection, it may take a few mo moments to load the entire edition. You'll notice the image of the book cover here, and that we're using the newly revised edition. This is the final edition Erdman completed, published in 1988. Once loaded, you will see two windows. On the right is the entire edition presented in a single scroll format. On the left is a menu bar that serves as the table of contents for the entire edition. Many of these content entries have sub-entries as well, and you can use the menu to navigate the text. For example, if I click on the menu item for An Island in the Moon, individual chapters appear as a sub-menu, and the text in the right window automatically scrolls to the correct page. You can also navigate the text with the Go To Page feature above the table of contents. Let's say you are a researcher following up on a citation. Simply type in the page number of the citation and click the button next to the field. Our digital edition matches the page numbering of the 1988 print edition exactly, so you can move freely between the two. Another way to navigate the edition is with the search function. This is perhaps the most powerful feature of the digital Erdman, allowing for a great amount of flexibility and speed for researchers. Let's say I'd like to locate all of the times Blake refers to angels in his works. Simply type the term into the search bar and press enter or click the magnifying glass. The search results slide out in a scrollable window here. Each result is presented in a single line with a short excerpt of context and a link to the page in the edition on which it appears. Returning to the search results, you can see that they include all of the works, essentially providing users with an endlessly customizable concordance of Blake. One final tip, the search function does respond to Boolean operators, the words and, or, not. So here, I've searched for angels in the plural, but if I want to also include the singular form, I can add it with an operator by searching for angels or angel.
I hope that explanation of our digital edition of Erdman was useful. We'll be back soon with more tutorial videos on all the features of the Blake Archive. Please check out our blog and Twitter for more info and for publication announcements.